from amongst those. Now if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? He, was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came down in what is known as the indo pack subcontinent. Precisely Sri Lanka. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? In Jidda. Where is Jidda? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula, in what we know today as Saudi Arabia. And what is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda or Judda? It means the grandmother. It is named after her. Subhanallah. Now what happened? They started looking for each other. I remember, meaning I can imagine, I'm just saying it for myself. I can imagine them thinking, I remember there was someone, you know, we had Hawa here, where is she? Let's start looking. And he started looking, Subhanallah. If you picture it, you can imagine. And Adam alayhi salam began to walk. And he started walking towards where the sun was setting. He started walking towards the west. And Eve, Hawa alayhi salatu was salam, as a female, she didn't walk too much. But she also tried to look for Adam alayhi salam. No, that does not mean that women are not interested. No, not at all. Not at all. And according to what some of the historians have to say, they met in Arafah. And this is why where the white pillar is, the historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in a correct narration, authentic narration, but they say that that where Arafah is, where we actually gather, that is where the two met. Wallahu a'lam, Allah knows best. And this shows us, subhanallah, that man, you know, when we are separated from our spouses, it should hurt us. It should make us want to get back. We should do anything to solve the matter. This is what it is. I think that is a lesson that is drawn here. If we want to learn something from Adam alayhi salam, he didn't just wait for another woman to come along. No, he didn't. He knew that I have a wife. Let me make an effort. And do you know he walked half the globe, imagine. And he got to her. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Imagine what must have been. I don't know. It's not made mention of in narrations. But there's no harm in thinking. What must have been the emotions when the two saw each other? They must have thought, I don't know, but I'm just imagining. Subhanallah. Imagine after what effort. How many of us are prepared to solve our marital problems by making even one millionth of that effort? It's a lesson. Today, a small thing, we flick the marriage off. Small thing, flicked off. Go for someone else. Small thing, it didn't work. Why? For what? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.